had it in last night. Baltimore gave up two homers in that first inning. But he came right out there and threw a nice low dart down. And it was right on the pitcher where you can see him. But you see that foot closes. They bring mm -hmm. it in and it closes. But they're getting a good look and get everything in as they close up to, you know, load and, and do whatever you have to hit the, the ball with two, two right. eyes. Right. High, towering fly ball right field. Pretty deep, but Gonzalez, plenty of room. And makes the catch one down. I guess my question are some guys may have to do it more. It all depends, I think, on eyesight. What do we always say? When you're slumping or something, you may not be picking up. And when you see it, you need two more eyes. You need four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I think about, like, you know, Mike Stanton, John Carl. Ballpark. Yeah, it's different for everybody. Not not every, everybody. Right. It seems like it would be difficult to, to drive your shoulder into the swing. Well, you know it, what I mean? I mean it's different as long for as you get back, like our to be closed and you drive through the ball. I mean, everything, if you can do it that way, I mean, if it's comfortable for you, it is for some, some it isn't. I think the ones that you just talked to, Stantons of the world are the ones that are out. Just faced from, and you caught up from Houston. Weak ground ball towards second base, Jimenez. They'll throw off Bobby Witt Jr. Now that front hip closes. He's got his eyes on, now it closes. And he almost cheated there. You see how he takes almost like a is what it turns out to be. And you take the sting away from it there, you see, because he was open. Three up, three down. After one, no score in Kansas City. Second for Kansas City. And Shane Beaver misses. And Californians squaring off right here. Seems like that's every night. A lot of, no, that's true. You know, not, <laughs> of course, drafted out of high school by the Royals. And a weak ground ball, top to first. You know, when Miller takes it himself, one away. Which I'm sort of looking forward to, to be honest with you. Complaint. Oh, uh, Cleveland's in the right division. You know, yeah. You know, sure. They, I'm sure Tito. He'd love to be. They're not going to. And not long ago. The Central Division had some of the best pitching in baseball, if you go back and think about it. Michael Taylor with a one-out single here in the second. A card, card race is more fair. Yes, it does. I think this, Dre, and, and look, we're, we're going to see in days, right. or 10 days, yeah. I think, whatever it is. It's a lot. That's not fun because it's, it's too not, much. Yeah, it's, it's not good much. for you. He went knuckle curve as a starter. And he drills that one into right field. Michael Taylor's going to try for third. Oscar Gonzalez with a great throw, but it's offline. Right back up the middle. This could be two. Freeman steps on the bag. Goes to first. Go. Inning ending. All for just $80 for seats in the family deck. Michael Massey leading off for Kansas City. And Cleveland. Gave up back-to-back -back hits in the second inning, but it got, got a double play ball to get out of it. Yeah, that was his. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. First cave. It's just, it's like, what are we talking about? Um, stacking bricks, right? right? You stack one day on top of the next, and eventually you get to going out there and dominate. And it's been handed down watching the Corey Klubers and everyone yeah. else, and that was what I love about it because it's true. Uh, you know, J 16, they watch the routines of, of Kluber, of Tomlin, and that's who these guys have become. And just like you got, I wanted to ask you is, you know, because swing and a miss. We always talk about because yeah. they know they got a good chance to win. What is that like as an offensive player? Who punched him out? Back to back K's. Knowing you got one of your best or your best on the mound that night. Well, you're just ready to go. You had Bly Levin. You probably had a good feeling on certain nights when you went out there. Hey, we got a great chance to win. Yeah, you got a really good chance that you're going to win. And in sports, that's huge. It sure it's, is. Especially at this level. <laughs> when you can get on the bus or you get, are you coming out on his game. So you may have to do something a little more for him to help him out that day. And you can right. see that when you're an everyday player. Well, I loved what Raj told us the other night. Raj A. Davis visited yeah. with us. And having that, so I'm going to move over this way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, little Those things. Those little things mean a lot, little though. Little things mean a lot. 
eight, ten times on the course of the year. Swung out and missed. How about Shane Bieber? They hand him a two. Shane Bieber back to work. Bobby Witt Jr. drives one to center field, and my runs have either tied or given Cleveland the lead. Salvador Perez, you don't think about it, eight of his runs batted in have either tied the game or given the Royals the outright lead. Boy, sitting right in the middle, see yeah. the score runs and and produce them, and he's been big. And Ooh, he, guy. It's a big fly, and the park's not big enough to hold it. That, that's what I'm talking about. He's got power strong enough to hit it that far. So home run number 20, and it's a 15th that Bieber's given up. And Rosario held on to a little bit of a snow cone. Maybe between five and ten years ago, their, their largest number was 36. And that was a pretty good power guy. Yes. Came along, and then, of course, they got into their, their most recent. to third base off the glove of Freeman and he cannot recover not with Michael Taylor he combined with any other offers or discounts Ryan O'Hearn leading off for Kansas City here bottom of the fifth Hearn with a single in the second and a one hopper to Rosario with the shift on he'll throw him out is that like 387 feet in, <laughs> in a normal ballpark <laughs> no. I'm just going to say he hit it a mile he high spanked it Look at that. Uh, so you check your phone. Well, my phone's too small. I want it on a big screen. <laughs> Can you find it? <laughs> yes. I was yeah, <laughs> My font's a little big. Yeah, a little. <laughs> That's right. We're going to miss one and two. When we were in Seattle, we couldn't watch stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we were mentioning how these young kids that we're watching in warm-ups now and how much we love watching their arm strength. Our, your guy, Matt, in Pittsburgh is who we got to see. Hill Cruz just hit one out of the stadium in Pittsburgh wow. against the Mets, against Tommy Hunter. Well, that's trouble. Deep in the alley, Miles Straw back makes the catch. On. You feel you can catch just about anything if it stays in the yard. And, I mean, that, that's the thing. It's extra bases, or it may be off walls and other ballparks. It could be just a routine out here. Defensively, I, I can't recall him ever taking it out into the field with him. No, he I has mean, not. He's, he's over for this kind of hitter. And, Matt, honestly, that's somewhat been the frustrating thing for the coaching staff. Not that he does that. Something in him. DeMarlo Hill kind of said to me today, his job as a coach is to get the best out of each guy. And they want to get the best both sides from him because they know he's got it. Park tonight here in Kansas City. Now ball right up the middle. And then Rosario positioned perfectly in, in the fourth inning to get them on the board. But he has been on target tonight. Well, they've been a little more aggressive than normal, knowing he's throwing strikes early and often. And he pulls that one foul. Cleveland, the youngest team in baseball in Kansas City, right behind him. 25 rookies back in 1999 under then manager Tony. And that was right when they were starting to turn the corner. It was still a couple of years away, but some of the pieces were in place. Albert Bell that year had 28 home runs. And he was in touch. Again, he didn't make his debut that year. He debuted the year before, but he was still a rookie in 1991. Well, that's the first walk issued by Shane Bieber. When this guy hits him, though, I'm going to tell you something. He smokes him. He averages about four. And he popped him up. Oh, cut fastball, maybe. And then Rosario goes out to grab it. And to right field. Should they start going in on him, March? Since he's hit both, both the pitches he's hit have been to right field. He gets that pitch down like that. He's not going to go. do any damage with it. Yeah, watch where the location of this pitch is here. We say he's an ultra aggressive, but Salvi has a pretty good idea what teams are trying to do against him. Well, that's why if Beaver makes a mistake, you see it's down. And if, you know, if he wants to. Fedor Perez. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Bounce one and edges with a turf. The importance of 90 feet, and we want guys to know that. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that's the fourth strikeout tonight. Uh, there have been a few uh, a few lackluster performances of it around here a lot lately. And you want to you want to be playing your best. Not give teams extra outs in this game because it comes back to bite you. You know the unearned runs or the extra outs in the innings. You got to tighten it up and stay tight, especially when. Your pitching is so good, and you're not scoring runs. Big inning here for Shane B. Struck him out. Look at that's a low dart right at the bottom of the zone, and Nick Prado could not pull the trigger. When you're <laughs> when you're a hitter and you've seen that ball at the knees drop into the dirt, you yeah. chased. He's like, I'm not doing that again. Right, I'm not and chasing then, that pow, pitch. That's like, boom. You know how Bieber does. Michael Taylor with a fly ball to center field, and Miles Straw makes the catch two down. It's an out. And he hit it well. I mean, Miles Straw had to go back on it tonight. That ball at Oscar Gonzalez hit. There's another can of corn. Straw drifting back onto the front part, of, not even quite to the warning track. Nine pitches. Shane. Their exclusive benefits, call 216-420-HITS or visit cleguardians.com. Here in the eighth inning. And Dozier down the line. It's a foul ball. Cleveland bullpen is quiet in the league. With one complete game. Yeah. <laughs> that? Fromber Valdez leads the league with, with two. two. Yeah, it, uh, they are a thing of the past, no doubt. The 2 1. You know, Rick, a couple of things come of late because I've heard you talk about it time and time again. As Shane Beaver strikes out Hunter Dozier, that's a half dozen Ks. For the Guardians right hander. And that is ball in play in one or two pitches in an at bat. They're trying to go for strikeouts, and so it drives up the pitch count. Yeah. Hitting it is something that everybody does. You we're seeing it come out of every bullpen. Guys sliders, with sliders yep. after sliders. 90s. And they still want to throw slider after slider. Yeah. That guy, one guy in Seattle is, oh, is amazing. Andres Munoz. Mu Munoz. Yeah, it's like this guy's 102, 103, and he does it. He's fought Manley a couple, Manley a couple weeks ago when they were playing the Dodgers. <laughs> it's a foul ball of the first base. Line. I know who they are. <laughs> you know, too. Don't <laughs> sit here and act ball. like you don't. <laughs> And Rosario, what a flip with the glove nice. to retire Massey. Up high, ball one to Drew Waters. Starting pitcher is on that team. <laughs> <laughs> Does his name start with a P? Yeah, start Star <laughs> open. <laughs> Here's the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> it's a down low. <laughs> the 2-1. Cut fastball, but it was. And Shane Bieber with the 2 2. And a foul ball. This is the deepest I've seen this guy go. And now the 2 2. Struck him out looking with his seventh punch out. <laughs>